They're just playing with some LEDs. They're addressable LEDs, so I can change each color individually. I have my single board Rio over here. It's a little overkill for a controller, but it does get the job done. Um, also, it's programmable in lab view, so you can see my VI running here, just running through the numbers. They're being sent to each of the LEDs. See, I can speed it up. Kind of go into basically looks like psycho mode here. Looks really trippy on the camera. Speed it. Slow it back down to something reasonable here. So I can change all the colors on the fly. Some interesting patterns. Code's pretty simple too. Just generating a sine wave, making three copies of it, shifting each one by uh, a third of the waveform. There's 24 LEDs, so that means I just need to shift it by. Uh, 8 and 16 for two of the different colors to get the full color gamut and send that off to the FPGA. The driver there is also really simple. So from there, the front panel doesn't look very exciting. As you can see, there's really all the code there is on the FPGA. I get it to come into focus here. Three array elements, and then all that does to communicate is use a one wire interface. So a low is a certain length of time for a pulse, and a high is a different length. So that's all that's going on there. And all this is doing is taking that FIFO data and putting it into some RAM. So I basically have a frame buffer on the FPGA for the LEDs, it's right up at the top. So that's it. <laughs>